Area required for chocolate making business, location. In chocolate making business you are selling edibles food item, so you need to very careful about hygienic area or location that you are going to be selected for business. You have to follow serious instruction before selecting area the local health department will help you to select the area for business. If you had planned to start chocolate making business from your home kitchen then you have to follow the instruction that mentioned by local governments such as you don't cook other food in that area of business or pets are prohibited in that area location. Before selecting an area for the manufacturing call local health department to ensure that the area is clean and well suitable for chocolate making business. Selected your location. How close or accessible is your location relative to the target market? Where is the competition located? What distribution channels do you plan to use to reach the target customer? How does your location satisfy the exterior and interior requirements of the business? Do you own or lease your location? Does the location conform to municipal bylaws and environmental regulations? Is there any possibility for expansion? Shop floor. The business dictionary defines shop floor as the area in a manufacturing facility where assembly or production is carried out either by an automated system or by workers or a combination of both. The shop floor may include equipment, inventory and storage areas. Shop floor is the place where design specifications are referred, machinery and manufacturing equipment are employed for production, parts are assembled or some raw material is processed. The shop floor is responsible to produce an intermediate or a final product. Product quantity mass, scant. Two types of this perspective that implies in what quantity the product is manufactured. Mass production. Mass production involves manufacturing of the standardized products efficiently in large quantities. This is also called as flow production or continuous production. The shop floors for mass production are equipped with assembly lines, machinery and power at a large scale. Scant production. It involves creating the product in a sufficient number. It is also called small volume production. Production space layout. Adequate production space on a shop floor avoids crowding and cluttering, as well as limits any potential damage which might happen due to accidents. The shop floor infrastructure should be designed by considering the following issues. The number of staff and workers. The number of machines and their respective sizes. Scope, size and sequence of production. The number of tables, cabins and workbenches required on the shop floor. Floor space for placing workers tools and personal articles such as helmets, uniform and goggles. Adjacent facilities such as eating spaces, restrooms, smoking areas, which greatly impact the work performance of the workers. Adequate space and pathways to the facilities, entry and exit routes to the work area. Additional place for new machines, product design or increased volume of production, product or assembly layout. There are two main types. Oriented layout This layout is designed in a linear fashion. The workstations or workbenches are located in a sequence where products manufacturing is carried out one step after the other. This layout is excellent for the mass production. If there is a demand to change the product design or appearance, then this layout cannot address the demand smoothly. Process-oriented layout. A group of machines and tools that perform similar or all functions required to complete a single stage in a process are placed together in this layout. This layout permits the flexibility to manufacture different products at the same time. Its design needs careful study of production planning and material handling sequence. Duan Digital Marketing, Pain Mark, The GMAT, Safe's Blogs.